it's shaping up to be one of those days. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm going to hit live at 8.59. And I hit done because I didn't remember that I had to hit done first. So I was like, where'd it go? <laughs> so good morning. <laughs> I need more of this, <laughs> apparently. Um, so welcome to the last week of January. This year I have a feeling is going to completely blow past us again. Um, last year was kind of a blur, which was good and bad. Um, we've had for the last few days, it's been like under 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So mm -hmm. it's like, mm -hmm. it was 17 Somewhere this morning. Yeah. Um, the night before it was really super cold. Right now it says it's nine. Nine. It says it's nine. I don't know how right. accurate that is, but it's supposed to be a high of 43 today. So good morning. No, I did not. No. Okay. <laughs> My daughter's like, did you? So my office is in the kitchen, so this tends to be a traffic area, sorry, but it's morning. <laughs> she's like, sorry, it's morning. So um, one note I want to make real quick is my normal Saturday morning, well, Saturday afternoon Twitch um, stream, art stream at noon is not going to happen this week because I'm going to be live on YouTube and Facebook with nerd culture. So oh, cool. yeah. So Ryan Permison is nice. going to be interviewing me and I'll have a link to that below. So YouTube live, um, not this channel, but I'll have a link down below uh, at noon for nerdy talk. So like comic books and gaming and art. I have absolutely no idea what he's going to ask me. I've never been on the show. Um, I've enjoyed the show. Those are fun. But yeah, it's kind of like, I'm okay, sure. uh, as if I would know. We're going to have a grab bag of information to pull from, and I don't get Is nervous anymore. But yeah, I was, I was, was trying to remember. Yeah, I was trying to remember the, the comic books because I didn't want to dig my comic box out. Yeah, no, I, I get it. And I, I vaguely remember a few. I, there was that one. I know. There's one. I I'm going to have to. I still can't remember the title yeah, of it. I'm gonna it was have that to one look. based on Macbeth. And I yeah. Can't I'm going to have to, the I've got a, a few comic books that I really yeah. love. And I got into comics mainly because of the illustration work and the artwork and then fell in love with the stories. Yeah. Um, there's some that I have that started out as web comics. Um, and uh, there's one that's really good. That's really inclusive. And I cannot for the life of me think of the name of it and I will link to it at the bottom because I bought the book um, once I found out there was one. But uh, speaking of books, what was your theme today? Spies and wizards. <laughs> Spies and wizards is what he said earlier. <laughs> it made me laugh. Okay, go for it. So today's doing... theme is Spies and wizards in that order. So, because that's the order that I'm willing to do them. Uh, this was a book that I read a long time ago. This is a Robert Ludlum. Many of you know this author. Uh, sadly, he's, I believe, no longer with us, not for a while now. But Robert Ludlum writes, you know, like Cold War era CIA KGB novels, usually, typically. Da, da, da. Um, this is Parsifal Mosaic. Uh, brief description, uh, double agent, uh, you know exterminated on a beach and then the main character sees her on a train platform and the plot moves forward from there so very interesting um that one for me was a lot of fun to read i liked the character the description was great um the action in it it was very good as well uh, and i just liked the way it was written as well so i tend to recommend that one uh the other one that it was the first book by this author that I've read. Um, and then I found out it was like the 13th book in the series for Order and Chaos War. Uh, Wellspring of I've Chaos. Done that. This is Ellie Modesset Jr. I actually have gotten to talk to this man uh, in person. That's an autographed copy of Wellspring of Chaos. He was in my Walden Bookstore that day when I picked that copy up off the shelf and took it home. 
and read it cover to cover. Um, and then I found out it's not the first book in the series. However, it is the first book about that character. That, uh, that speaks to, to the way he writes, though, that you could pick it up in the middle. Way in the middle, yeah. yeah. He, there's over and 20 books to... in that series alone, yeah, in the Order and yeah. Chaos War series alone, and I picked that one up. It was about a particular character, and I liked that the story was about an older person, not like a young kid who like becomes this like chosen one. I just thought that was really a cool like, idea. And it's about a Cooper, a barrel maker, which is really cool now because I live in Kentucky and, you know, this is one of the only places that they make barrels yeah. still to do this to this day. So um, when I. Um, but, and they do it by hand, not automated as far as I know, which yeah, I don't think you can do those. Yeah. Automated. Barrels. Barrel, the barrel the industry, you know, making here. barrels is an interesting ability. If you know how to make barrels, that's that's an art. That's an art form. It really is. You know, barrels have to be snug. They have to be crafted just right. Uh, I, yeah, it's it's one of those types of trades that it's like. Does anybody know how to do that anymore, except for people who make bourbon? Probably not. Too. So, yeah. Which we are bourbon centric here in Kentucky. Um, so, my books are, of course, usually mostly art related. Um, I teach a map illustration class online on OutSchool, one of one of the classes I teach. I have links below. And so anytime I find a really good map book or something that inspires me, I pick it up. So I picked this one up last year. It is The Art of Map Illustration, which has mm -hmm. all sorts of yummy projects and different artists and different styles and just... I have similar books that have like different projects you can do. Um, some of them are more kid centric, but just if you're into maps, if you're into wanting to learn to draw maps, I highly recommend this. Um, it goes into not so much how to draw, but it's got a lot of, um, examples mainly it does go into a little bit with the digital tools i of course use procreate uh for most of what i do I like but they have they the mixed zoom media in on the street side yeah they have blow a, the street up really big yeah. so you can see it but they go into a little bit into art tools and it's mostly just a lot of examples so i love that one anytime i get stuck I can just pull my books out and zoom through them. The other one is a children's book that I fell in love with <laughs> because maps. Uh, it's, it's a theme here, but um, absolutely adorable illustrations. This is just the end page, the little classroom with everybody. And uh, basically this little girl is tasked to draw a map isn't very confident she didn't really go anywhere she didn't know she always wanted to be an explorer and an adventurer adventurer but she didn't know uh you know what exactly she wanted to do so when she was tasked to do a map she started doing places she wanted to go things she wanted to see and it was kind of daydreaming and coming up. I mean, look at that. How cool is that? So she comes up with all these different ideas and worries about, you know, whether or not she did it right for the class assignment. So she comes in with all these things thinking she's you know, coming in empty handed because she didn't really draw a map per se. And there she was everybody's favorite. Um, I love the inclusivity of 
the whole thing where you have different colors, different hairstyles. Um, you have one person here wearing a hijab, which is awesome. Um, and just, you know, just really cool artwork. I love the illustrations. It's very fun. Um, and it's kind of the mode that I get into when I'm drawing maps. So that one really spoke to me. I love that one. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, uh, Danny Gregor's, Gregory's, this is a classic. This one came out quite a while ago. Um, I was part of a group. Let me see here. Hmm. In the glasses. Uh, <laughs> uh, da, 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 date, copyright. 2008. 2008. So Danny Gregory uh, had a group called Everyday Matters. And I think the group, as far as I know, the group is still going. I actually know some of these people now, uh, like Kathy Johnson. There's a few. But basically, there was a prompt list that you started with. And I posted a lot of these on Flickr when I first joined Flickr. And I will link to that below if you guys want to take a look. But these go into a lot of the things that were drawn in the group and in journaling. And there's different people's journals. Um, again, I know most of these people now mm -hmm. and have developed relationships with a few through Facebook, but really, really cool, cool stuff. Again, this is, you know, different drawing styles, different mediums, different levels of, you know, expertise or practice and just a lot of fun. You have interesting application. I mean, there's some yeah. beautiful stuff there. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, drawing inspiration from the private sketchbooks of artists, illustrators, and designers is an illustrated life. Mm -hmm. So again, this is another one for, you know, brain food for creating different things. And one that really super excites me, but Danny's written a few books. Danny's a wonderful human being. And uh, so I was very happy you know, when I found this, I have a couple other of his books, I think, I'm pretty sure that are out on the mini bookshelves we have <laughs> up there. But um, the Everyday Matters Challenge was really inspiring for me and got me drawing a lot more. And it was actually some exercises that I went through with Issa when she was younger, too. Um, but speaking of challenges, I have one going on right now called 30 Ways to Draw, and it's based on an exercise that I used to do with my daughter. Um, back then it was like, I want to say it was 44, and it was because that's the number of boxes I could fit on the page or, or something. But um, so basically, uh, you pick one location, object, or creature each month, draw them 30 different ways. So the chosen piece has to be included in the drawing. So if you do cat, then a cat toy is fine, but you have to have part of the cat still included, like a paw or, or something. Um, if you play along, make sure to tag me uh, <laughs> on your favorite social media. And um, I am horrible about posting every day because I'm usually living my life and I'm not on necessarily on social media every day. Um, wellness and living my life comes first and my family and what I need to, to get done. So, um, I make no apologies <laughs> on that. Um, I do tend to do the challenge all at once if I'm able to. So this one in particular, this was January, this cat. So I have this form that you can download. And it's basically just all these little squares and with the instructions and how to tag me. And then there's a space up top to put the month and what your theme is. And so I did cat for this month and I've been posting them on in batches, really maybe a couple uh, mm -hmm. got posted individually early on, but um, I've been posting them in batches. No apologies, no guilt, get it out there, get it up. If you, um, want to do it one a day, go for it. If you want to do a week's worth at a time and then post it, you can do that. Uh, it's laid out so that you've got one a week 
or on a five week month, but basically you can, you know, post them in batches. And the next one for February, and I have my prompt list up, it's on my website with the download and everything. Um, so this one, of course, I'm doing rabbit, moon rabbit in particular for me, but um, I have those up. I have gnomes for March, garden for April, and you can come up with your own list. Uh, I did mermaid for May because mermaid was a challenge that I used to do a while back and I'd gotten out of doing it. So I figured I can, two birds. So June is unicorns. And I did that because that's my daughter's birthday is in June. And the first one that we ever did for the 40 or 44 ways challenge when she was little was unicorn. So that was kind of my little ode to that. Uh, July is beach. August is office and sc or school supplies because August. because August and that's, I look forward to that every year because I load up on cheap spiral notebooks and <laughs> new pens. Uh, September is leaf. October is bat. That may actually change to bottles because I was looking at doing like an apothecary <laughs> theme. I have fun with that one. Uh, November is yetis because I love yeti. And then December is North Pole. But the only ones that I've drawn further on are cat. Of course, I've got the whole month. Moon rabbit, which I just showed you. And I started doing gnome or gnomes. So I've got a few of those done and played around with a couple of images on garden. So most everything is related to something I'm already working on a different project. So, so that challenge is there. Speaking of projects, I'm getting good with the segues here <laughs> today. Um, so there's two things upcoming. One is mine. One is a client. Um, Light Will Find Our Door is a book by Heather K. Smith that I've been illustrating. I've um, been working out some bugs with Ingram Spark and um, getting, you know, it everything just right with that. So I will have uh, links to that on my site on the Dragonfly Press publishing um, section, and uh, which is where I have my sigils book up there currently. And the next two books will be uh, Heather's Light Will Find Our Door, which is about the solstice. Um, I've had a lot of fun doing the illustrations for that. And it's roughly about this size. It's going to be 11 by eight and a half. Um, so big illustrations. I've, I've been having fun with it. Um, most of which I've done in uh, Procreate. I did sketches um, and uh, my thumbnails and everything first on paper and then went to procreate and then from there i had tweaked it in um, photoshop and then i've got the book laid out in indesign so um so i have that and then in proofing right now we're working out with the bugs with ingram spark because they always have this thing about mm -hmm. adding they add a blank page at the beginning and the end and I had it laid out perfectly. And then they added two more pages on top of that. So I've been going back and forth with them trying to get that figured out because it wasn't something on my end. It was something on their end. Um, but their customer service has been really good. I've just been like really antsy to get this out because I want to make sure it looks good. I want to make sure that everything is right on the print version so I can order one. Um, so I have one in hand because that's going to help me with Heather's book and getting that laid out. Because if that page thing is, you know, with a, a picture, a children's picture book, especially if they're adding in extra pages, that throws off the entire thing, the entire book, because you're working mainly with, um, you know, double page spread if you're doing a picture book. So um, this little piggy actually was originally going to be a board book. There's only one manufacturer in the United States still that does board books and to order one of them is 25 bucks. So not doing that. Um, but uh, I may order one eventually, but I've got um, a little paper mock-up 
the little tiny one I did. And then I also have a regular size picture book one that I'm going to go in and do a proof of. Um, hmm. I'm self-publishing it. I don't know that it'll get picked up. If it gets picked up, cool. If it doesn't, that's okay too. But um, with, I am an Adobe girl, despite my love of Procreate. Um, and I did want to mention that Adobe Creative Cloud, which I started kind of having to migrate to that. Um, I hate that you get to the point where, you know, people start requiring these monthly subscriptions for things. Adobe kind of has a monopoly on some things. Um, you know, you can get the free version of GIMP instead of Photoshop. There's other, you know, open source versions of the Adobe products. I still like Adobe. Um, so I use Adobe a lot and they just came out with Adobe Creative Cloud Express as part of their thing, which replaced Adobe Spark, um, which oh. is essentially Canva. Mm -hmm. But because of the fact that I already have the Creative Cloud subscription and you can actually get it for, I want to say 10 to $15 a month. I usually wait till taxes come in and then pay for the whole year. So I don't have to keep doing the recurring, but I have access to everything. And they have an educator's pricing, um, which is makes it a lot more affordable. Um, and I've had it for years now. So I kind of got grandfathered in on some of the pricing. But um, hmm. it's been super helpful because I can sync it with all of my devices. And I was I did beta test Illustrator for the iPad. But I am a Procreate girl on the iPad. So... I don't use Adobe for that, but the Creative Cloud Express I can use on the iPad and it helps me, you know, go in and lay out uh, things more accurately because Facebook is really hard to size things for when you're trying to make banners um, and using those, it's a lot easier. So hopefully I will start, help, you know, posting more regularly on social with the help of this, but I'll put a link. Um, it's a referral link. Anything I post is, you know, Amazon, anything it's helps our family. Um, so affiliate just figures an affiliate link or, or a referral link. Um, but I don't post things I don't believe in and I don't post things I don't actually use. So, uh, you can trust that, but so uh, that was something new that I discovered that came up. Um, I also was referred to uh, an app called Game Her that is women gamers. Mm -hmm. And the Game Hers. So the Game Hers. Um, and so I'm on there, obviously, as Red Median. Mm -hmm. And you will probably see that photo again uh, here soon for Imaginarium, because Imaginarium is mm. coming up um, July. July. Yeah. July, I think. I saw that they were coming up on that see shortly. Here. Yeah. July 8th through the 10th. So um, hopefully, ways, hopefully we'll be in Louisville. Um, either months. way, I'll be online. Yeah. It's almost five months. Yeah. Because yeah. in four months, my daughter turns 21. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Not ready for uh, that. Uh, 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 we're doing a, a getaway weekend for that special. But um, I will link to... <laughs> I will link to the app. And, uh, you know, it's, it's mental health for gamers. It's a supportive community. Um, everything I've seen so far has been super wonderful. Um, I'm big on being helpful in games, uh, which brings me to, um, we've recently, I have a new follower on my Twitch in the Philippines and they have, um, we were asked a question in game or ran into this person when we were running around in guild wars too. And they were 
so incredibly helpful. So we've, and they started following me on Twitch and started actually, you know, I could talk to them on Twitch while I was in game. So I wasn't having to type. Um, but they joined us last night and helped. I'm super supportive. They're playing a mesmer. Um, say this portal thing. So if we were trying they to teleport, get teleport. Yeah. yeah, it's a teleport thing, which mm -hmm. is super cool. I wish rangers could teleport. Like in a different way from just clicking on the Yeah, so they can like points. if you don't do have the waypoints, they can still teleport, I think. Yeah, well there's a range we found out. Yeah. Oh, there so, is a range. Okay. Yeah. But um they okay. took the time like half an hour last night while we were on live stream and just led us around so Isa could get uh her springer mount. She still has some things to do to get it, but um, of course it's a rabbit. So I have a rabbit mount in, in Guild Wars 2. Um, go figure. I don't want to bother but, you to get me one. No. We'll, we'll need to do that eventually yeah, no, for we myself want to get, too. Yeah, so we'll take him for that one too. I have the points already, I think. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, but I need central the, points and I don't have those either. Yeah, I don't, I don't either. I'll have to get the points first. Yeah. Just so it saves us that hassle. But, but Guild yeah. Wars 2, we've, we've had a lot of fun with that. And that's been... Um, with me, with the health issues lately, having just gotten over our second bout of COVID and uh, some things with the medication they had put me on and just, it's been a challenge. Um, so I've either been sleeping all the time. Unfortunately, the fatigue has started over again. Um, or my, the brain fog is just, you know, the fact that I have notes up on my other monitor right now, because otherwise I would not be functional today. <laughs> um, hence why I'm actually doing the segue thing is, mm -hmm. you know, so get the, the writing skills going here, but at a glance, at a glance, <laughs> but, um, you know, if you game, keep in mind, it's something that I keep in mind is not everybody has the opportunity to just sit in front of the computer all day and they have limited time, they have work schedules, they have family, they have time, you know, they want to get in, they want to get stuff done, they have specific goals, they're trying to finish a quest or they're trying to, to do something. And I know Val in the past has had things where he'll post a question and it's cricket noise. Nobody will, nobody will help. Nobody will say something. Um, we've not had that experience really with Guild Wars 2. Mm -hmm. Guild Wars 2, everybody's been super helpful. Somebody um, helped me just figure just, some you know, things out with Guardian be kind. yesterday. Be kind. You know, yeah, really um, great. you know, because you don't know what the other, you know, that's gaming is a lot of times people's coping mechanism. It's their escape because, you know, the last couple of years has been really rough. Um, you know, with COVID and with stuff going on and just being able to, you know, maybe relieve some stress for somebody, um, you know, be available to answer questions, lead, you know, people through stuff, um, you know, so that just a little thing on kindness. Uh, Issa and I are both starting guilds within Guild Wars 2. So if anybody plays Guild Wars 2, Apparently hit me up. more than one. Yeah, so. you can be up to three guilds. So that's, I have one. I have the Kentucky Brown Coats in game, um, and uh, Issa has a guild. So we're both taking people for both guilds. Um, but uh, you know, if you game and you play Guild Wars two, hit us up. Uh, the only other game I'm playing right now is Minecraft, and that's my Wednesday morning, uh, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Twitch stream. And then family night, game night is Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard. And that's when we play Guild Wars 2. So the next stream uh, for me is normally Saturday at noon. But again, I will not be on Twitch on Saturday. I will be here live on YouTube um, and also on Facebook with Nerd Culture. And they're going to be doing an interview with me at noon Eastern Standard. Um, so come back over here uh, on noon and I'll have a link below to everything we've talked about. And what coffee is today? That's post. Uh, post, alley post alley with Seattle's best. Don't have new coffees so, right now. I have four that we're rotating through right now. Yeah. There, so. Seattle's best um, or, you know, we have 
uh, Amazon. So if anybody wants to send us and drop ship us some new coffee to try, um, I know we've got like death wish and bones and a bunch of other stuff on our wish list. Um, but I'll post that. And so if anybody is so inclined to send us co some coffee to review or, uh, get, we're hooked on the post alley Seattle's best there's, right now. There's two dark, but dark roast. Seattle's best yeah. coffees. And at Christmas, I actually got through. somebody had given me two packages of Starbucks via. So when he hasn't made coffee or when I've been like hankering, that's my grandma's you word, could just hankering for, for some. Coffee, especially with. Oh, the, I know. The, but if I, there's times where the you just packages. made a pour over or something and I was just like, I kind of want coffee, but I don't want him to have to make a whole pot. So I'll use the via. It's not bad. I mean, yeah. it's instant. But yeah, so it's Starbucks. If you like Starbucks coffee, only because not everybody does. Although I, their drip coffee for me, I have to put a lot of like cream and sugar in their drip coffee because it just. I'm missing their caramel macchiatos it, it right now. It doesn't. It's like not smooth to me. It's good. It's just not smooth. I need to doctor it, and it's. And we used to do know, the cold the um, the French press. One thing about pour over and French press is if you see like little shinies on top, it's cholesterol. You're not filtering it out. So if you have a problem with cholesterol, make sure that you filter it. Um, and there's some other stuff to that. I'll post a couple of things, you know, me and my medical stuff. So um, pour over has been good but, about being pretty clear as far as yeah. not having a lot of like what looks like, like oils. oil yeah, yeah oil that, that filter's really good that, that little yeah, one that they got me uh, compared to that that french press where it looks like the oil mm -hmm. is on top that pour over mm -hmm. we need I to have that problem we need to play with the new with the new Ooh, what's that? kickstarter Ooh, what's that? you remember I so didn't. this <laughs> is basically a micro filter oh that thing yeah. Yes. So I got these and we haven't played with them yet. So I will have a link to the Kickstarter for that for people. But uh, it is, we're out of time. Or we were out of time a couple was. of, yep. Um, cool. Out of time. And uh, thank you guys so much for being here. We're hanging out. If you're watching the replay, hi. Uh, we do this 9 a.m. to 9.30 every Thursday morning, uh, Eastern Standard. And uh, I am live on Twitch, but all the links and all the necessaries and everything we talked about will be linked below. So see you guys later. Have a great day. Stay well, stay safe, wear your mask, wash your hands. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Thanks.